Hiya, I hope you're enjoying Virtual Feeds. I think this is number 17 that we're up to. Uh, today what we're going to do is uh, a skill that you can use on almost oh, lots of different uh, occasions. Today we're going to use it with chicken. So the skill is to crumb something. Um, so you can crumb chicken, uh, you can crumb schnitzel, beef schnitzel, you can crumb fish. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can crumb a bunch of other stuff as well. Um, my my little girl loves to help doing this, so Hi. so we have she's going to help me tonight, and we have a little station set up with the three bowls, and um, I've got my chicken out the freezer. I'm going to slice it thinly, and we're going to crumb that. We're going to do some uh, potatoes in the oven as well. I think the name for them is Hasselback potatoes, but we just call them turmeric potatoes because we add turmeric to them. And I'm going to uh, put a coleslaw with that as well. So uh, I'll get started on that and then I'll show you what I'm up to next. Okay, so I'm going to prepare my potatoes first because they take the longest to cook. So I've, uh, I've scrubbed them down and then I've cut them, as you can see, uh, lengthways. I've got them sitting here. I've also got my pan here uh, for the oven. And I'm going to put uh, a couple of tablespoons of coconut oil in there and set that in the oven um, to melt. And then um, I'll show you what I'm going to do with uh, the spuds. Okay, so I've got the oil in the oven um, melting. And then what I do with these is I just grab them like this. And I just score them going that way. And then I score them going that way. Um, and I'll do all of these. And then I'll, I'll show you what i do once they're done. Okay, so I've just pulled this out of the oven and uh, the oil is melted and I've uh, scored the top of my potatoes. I'm going to put them all uh, upside down in here. Um, really quickly. And then, all, all, the only reason why I'm putting them upside down like this is I'm not going to cook them like that, they'll just stick to the bottom is just to get the oil on on that side then I'll turn them all over and then I'm going to sprinkle them with salt and then I'm going to sprinkle them with turmeric and then I'll put them back in the oven so I'll do that and then I'll show you what they look like so I'll sprinkle these with salt and then I'm going to just grate uh, this turmeric. If you just got turmeric powder, that's absolutely fine. Just grate this over here. Um, much or as little as you like. Turmeric's really good for inflammation. I try and use it um, in my cooking every day or every second day. Um, and then these will just go into the oven at 220 or 200 for about 40 minutes or so. You don't need to turn them. Um, these just come out looking uh, really crisp and golden and delicious. We're ready to go with our chicken um, schnitzel or crumbing our chicken. I have uh, Gabby's here to help me. I've cut the chicken up into uh, quite thin pieces. This is only one chicken breast. Um, we're trying to have not as much meat so uh, you can have as much as you guys want if you wanted to. but. Uh, we're trying to go on a little bit less, so that's why we've just got one breast between the three of us. Um, so here's our production line over here. We've got three bowls and a plate. In this first bowl, we'll put a couple of tablespoons of flour. In this one here, Gabby's going to crack an egg. And in this last one, we'll tip some breadcrumbs. I also put a little bit of salt, and I love Moroccan seasoning with my chicken. So I'm going to put a little bit of that in there as well and stir it around. Then I'll show you what we do next. Okay, so here's the uh, production line. If you needed a little bit more, oh, we've beat, it, beat the egg up by the way. If you needed a little bit more um, egg because you're doing more chicken, you could just bulk it out with a bit of flour. You don't need necessarily another egg. Okay, so I'll start off with my chicken, get a piece of chicken, I'll cover it in the flour. Time to get messy, eh, Gabs? Mm -hmm. Take the extra flour off, give it to Gabby. She pops it in the egg, both sides. Hold it up, let the egg drip off. Did all the egg drip off? Yep. 
Now into the right crown, let's go. There we go. Don't eagle out of the kitchen. And onto the plate. Beautiful. So there's our first one done. Um, and then we're going to do the rest. And um, then they will shallow fry these. So now that we're done, uh, it didn't take very long. Now we're gonna now we're gonna cook it. Um, and just before dinner, and we're going to cool. Awesome. Thank you so much. So Gabby did most of this. How long did it take you, Gabby? Not that long. Quick and easy. We taste a whole lot nicer than the bought stuff. Uh, it's cheaper than the bought stuff. And you also know that there's no chemicals or other processed stuff in here that's not good for you. If you really wanted, you could cut these up into little chicken nugget sizes and, and cook them like that as well. You can do fish, you can do beef. Um, Any other fish. Yep. And chicken nuggets, you know it's real chicken breast and so it's really good for you. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh, these are gluten-free breadcrumbs too. Um, you don't have to use them, but we do, and I actually think they taste quite a lot nicer. And we're going to have some potatoes with it. Okay, so I'm about five to ten minutes out from dinner being ready, so it's time to cook the chicken up. Everything else is pretty much done, or close to, so um, I've got some butter. I'm going to put some butter in my pan. Um, I'm also going to put coconut oil in as well. Uh, the, if I do just butter, it will burn, um, and if I do just coconut oil, then I miss the yummy flavour of the butter. So um, I'll put both in. gives me the best of both worlds. And as you can see, um, you do want a little, quite a bit, or well not too much, but it's called a shallow fry. There's enough there to uh, make sure that it doesn't stick or burn. And uh, these won't take very long at all, basically a couple of minutes on either side, because I've cut them really thinly. So... Um, In they go and I've got it on nice and high I might turn it down in a bit and uh, turn them once get that butter melting and uh, these will be delicious okay so here are my chicken pieces all lovely golden brown ready to serve uh, my potatoes are coming out of the oven as well, looking fantastic, they're all ready to serve. So I'll serve them up on a plate for my coleslaw, which I have here, and dinner is done for tonight.